Have you ever thought about doing beeswax? But you were just too afraid to jump right in. Well, projects like these are so easy, so effortless, and will take you maybe five or 10 minutes to put together. And I'm going to show you how using the melting pot, the project pan, and Ranger beeswax. Hi, I'm Suze Weinberg. And I'm here to tell you what the buzz is about beeswax. The first thing you're going to need is your melting pot and a project pan. Project pans were designed to be used with the melting pot and low temp products of which beeswax is one. So we're simply going to insert the project pan, snap it in, turn on the heat, and we're ready to put in our beeswax. The two most important tools that you'll need for beeswax are a good pair of tweezers and the Ranger Scraper. If you don't happen to be lucky enough to have a Ranger Scraper, use an old credit card or even one of these little freebie tags that you can pick up at the Home Improvement Store. Okay, we've melted our beeswax. We have it set at the highest temperature. It's in the project pan and we're going to start. I've cut it out a collage image and I'm simply going to take it and put it in the melting pot. I'm coating it with beeswax. And now I'm going to use my tweezers to lift it out, place it on my surface, use my craft scraper, and put it down. It's that simple. Beeswax is definitely going to accumulate on your scraper. So you just wait for it to be hard and you pull it off and put it back in the pot and melt it. I've taken some uh, cardstock paper, actually it's a little thinner than cardstock, put it into my melting pot, coated it with beeswax, and again place it on my surface and use my craft scraper. And I'm going to continue doing this until I've built up a collage that I really like. Now the collage is beginning to come together even though it looks a little bit discombobulated at the moment. I think I have a fetish about napkins. I love to collect decorative napkins. So just tear them apart so that the first layer is gone and you're only using the patterned layer. And you can put those in your melting pot as well because once they're coated with beeswax they have some weight to them. So you just lift out your piece and we're going to layer. Now I'm just going to go in with my hot wax stylus tool and just smooth a few areas out, make sure everything is pressed down really well. Okay. So now we've got pretty much the collage papers down where we want them. Next step in a moment. I've now trimmed off all of the excess that was hanging over the sides and I'm going to take an inexpensive bristle brush and I'm going to fill in the areas that have no collage paper. So this is just going to give me added texture and then I'll show you how we make it come alive. I think now it's a perfect pearls moment. We're going to brush perfect pearls over some of the sections of the beeswax. Don't want to cover everything that you did, just want to give it a really interesting highlighted glow. And the perfect pearls sticks to beeswax exactly the same way it sticks to Yudi. By magic. And you don't need to do anything to it, it just sticks. What you can do if you like when you're done is just take an old rag or a towel and buff it up and make it shine, but we're on to our next steps. Sometimes I like to add little tiny touches of foil and I do that by going in with my hot wax stylus tool, pressing down, it will lift off the perfect pearls, but that's okay, that's all part of the added texture. And then I just press my foils down and I let them cool on there and then I'll peel them back. Now you won't get all of the foils, you'll just get a little bit of them.
As you can see, I'm starting to build up my foils around different areas. After you've put the foils in the places that you like, go back and reassess your piece and see if there are any little spots you want to touch up again with Perfect Pearls. I collect rub-ons as if they were going out of style. I love rub-ons. Today I'm going to try one on my collage that comes from a company called Tinkering Ink. So let's see how it goes. First, we're going to just peel the rub-on off the backing. We're going to lay it down on our beeswax and we're going to rub it on. I've picked white because it's a contrasting color. I find that rub-ons add a terrific design element to your beeswax project. And last but not least on my project, I've taken one of my mold and pour molds. This is actually an old mold of mine because it's blue, as you know our new molds are purple. And I've dusted inside the mold with perfect pearls. Now I am actually going to pour beeswax into my mold and it will set in just a couple of minutes. And this will be the final element on my collage. Don't worry about the drips. When the beeswax pops out of the mold, you have to brush, attach it to your collage and it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to add just a little bit of glitter glue and rub it in with my fingers to give some extra sparkle. And of course you can always add beads as well. Uh, this was just to show you all the different techniques that you can do to build up a beeswax collage. Naturally, you don't have to put Perfect Pearls over the papers you used if you want to keep the original look. But I did want you to know that it accepts all kinds of surfaces, rub-ons and, and little molds and glitter glue and foil. There's so much you can do. But what happens when you have a canvas surface or a card surface, a scrapbook page, something that's too large to put the piece of paper in the melting pot. So let me show you how I did this, which is nothing more than a decorative napkin. I'm going to begin by brushing beeswax on my surface. The beeswax will harden practically as fast as you put it down. And soon I'm going to have one big goopy canvas. After my surface is completely coated, I'm taking my napkin and I'm going to place it where I'd like it to be on the collage. And you can come back and do this at any point in time. And then I will use my hot wax stylus tool and just take my time going across all the areas. The napkin just seeps up the wax and automatically adheres. This is a beautiful and fast way to make instant art and then just dust with perfect pearls in the areas that you like. You can add a rub on if you want to. You can add more collage papers if you want to or foils. Everything is up to you. It's your project. It's your design. When you're finished for the day, just take your brush out. You can leave it to harden on your craft sheet. It'll turn very, very hard. And then turn your pot off and leave your project pan in to cool. Two things will happen. The beeswax will turn hard and you can just remove the project pan. The next time you want to use it, slip the project pan back in. The beeswax will reconstitute as soon as you turn the pot back on. The same goes for the hard brush. Put it in the beeswax and all the bristles will get soft again. I really hope you enjoyed our little beeswax project and have a really great buzzing beeswax day.